I'ma crack down, sit your ass down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, my niggas, they gon' spread. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Melflow, aka Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go. Bringing y'all. Everybody, everybody been wanting to see this, but yo, you gonna release a blitz at 30k. So I figure a lot of people in the community are starting to run it now. I'm even starting to see other YouTubers run this blitz. So I'm like, we might as well give it to my sub. I can't. We can't have everybody else eating except for TG. You know what I'm saying? We, so if everybody else eating with this blitz, TG, we gotta eat. So it's time to. Eat. I told y'all once we hit 30k, I'm gonna drop this blitz for y'all. This is out the 4-6 playbook, and if you're playing Mutt, you have to buy it off the auction block. It's like 440k. If you're playing Rex, you can just make a custom playbook, but it's called the 4-6 playbook. You can add it and make a custom playbook and just add it from this playbook. Without the 4-6 bear under, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank all y'all for 30k. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, bro, I'm so humble, and I appreciate everybody who rock with me, everybody who stand up for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like a month ago, we was at like 3,000 subs, y'all. 3,000 subs a month ago. We were at 3,000 subs. On this day a month ago, we were at 3,000 subs. Now we at 30K. So I just want to thank everybody out there. And like, you know, thank for, thank for, you know what I'm saying? Just thank for rocking with me. That's all, you know what I'm saying? So be sure to leave a like on the video. Try to get the video to at least 1,000 likes. But I'm going to tell y'all to set up. The people y'all need to have in these positions... Whoever you are using, you want to have right here. There's a linebacker here. You want to have a linebacker right here. And you still want to have a good, fast linebacker right here. But I usually put someone like uh, Lawrence Timmons, you know, some good block shed. And also, you want to have a fast in here. So I put Moats there. And you want to have, like, probably your fastest. Like someone like Jadavion Clowney. Mm. Someone like Clowney or something, your fastest linebacker slash box shedder should go right to the right. Because you're always going to be blitzing him. And someone who can you who you can cross man or pit into a zone who is also fast can go right here. I pitch his ear there. And your user right there. Not this linebacker here, right here. Bud Dupree, right in that spot. So the play is called Dogs to Fire. First thing you want to do, it play gonna look like this. You're gonna wanna uh look base a line, pinch your D-line, spread your linebackers, and when you spread your linebackers, Usually, this linebacker is down here, Dupree, and this guy is up here, right? So let's reset the play. Reset, boom. So base a line, pinch your D line. Spread your linebackers. So that linebacker is going to come down. Usually, this linebacker is down here like this, and he's going to come up. So as soon as he come up, you just want to pull him. Or you can use, uh, use him from the start of the play, but then you're going to crash your D line to the middle. And this is basically the setup. And all you want, you can sh uh, shade over top. To I always put these guys in cloud flats. You can shade underneath to play hard flats. Like I said, shade over top, hit Y, up on the right stick, and you got cloud flash. Then you want to bluff blitz your user. What this means, all you want to do, hit A or X on PlayStation and right on the right stick, bluff blitz. And then you want to come here and just hold LT in and just strafe just like that. And as soon as they hike the ball, you see come untouched. He runs right, right by him. The lineman, I don't know. It, it, lineman basically goes dummy. He basically goes dummy and just does not block him. You get double edge heat. And that's why I said when you bluff blitz. But the other thing about this, you are user in the middle by yourself. But y'all see how this linebacker is up here at first? So when you base the line, pinch your D line, spread your linebackers. He's gonna come down. This guy's gonna come up. So this is your user. Crash to the middle. You're gonna hit X or A on PlayStation. Boom. Bluff blitz him. Come here. You can hold RT, but I just hold LT. Because when you hold LT and they hike the ball, you won't really, you know what I'm saying? You see how I don't go. Because I'm holding LT, I'm not uh I'm not being forced into the line. Because when you hold LT, you're basically strafing. So you're not being forced to go into the line. So base the line. So this is how it looks. You see how that linebacker is there. You're going to pinch your D-line, crash him to the middle. So pinch your D-line. You're going to hit LB or L1. Down on the left stick or D-pad. And, and then no, LB or oh, slant inside. LB or L1. Then down on the right stick. Then you're going to spread your linebacker. You see how Bud Dupree comes up and he go down. That's your user. And then boom, hit A or X, bluff blitz. You don't you don't have to stand there all the time. Like if somebody trying to run the ball, I might just hover here. But like like I said, you don't like I said, but you, it still comes in. You don't have to stand in that spot, but that is the best spot to stand for this blitz. The other setup, same thing, base a line, but shift your D line to the left, then crash him to the middle, then spread your linebackers. Spread your linebackers. Okay, he's not gonna go down. Then he goes down, but when you do that. He, I have no idea what just happened. I think he actually comes over here. Wait, we should to the left. This way, I like using this way because it stops the run and I don't always have to hover. Like you see, if they try to run the ball, 
like you see it's just a lot better run D but the other way you can get killed by the run so this way when you shift your D line to the left uh, crash them to the middle like you see how now we got seven across the box instead of it looking like this which I'll see when I do it this way there's two gaps in there but when I do it the other way I only use this way when I want to stop the run I shift them to the left and then crash them to the middle because now it's like it basically you know what I'm saying it's hard to run the ball I don't care what they do it's gonna be hard for them to run the ball either way. Like, I just like to use this way when somebody likes to spam the halfback base or something. I, this is the way I use. And it also comes in consistent too. You can just shoot the gap with that linebacker and you get crazy sheds. Blitz is one of the best blitzes in the game. Like I said, even if you do use the second way also, it still can come in the same way. Just hover here, boom. See, it still comes in untouched. Nothing they can do about it. Y'all like, yo, what did they, uh, you know what I'm saying? What did they block a running back? Jamil, same thing. It's the same setup. You can use either setup when they block a running back. Basic line, pinch D line, spread linebackers, crash middle. Bluff blitz this guy. And when they start blocking a running back, I usually like to run forward a little bit. So I do this. And then I, oh, my bad. I didn't block a running back that time. A running back, same setup. I'm going to do the first setup. And usually when I do bluff blitz this guy, guys, when I do bluff blitz this guy, you wanna, I always like to like go a little bit in when I bluff blitz, then go out and use her. But y'all see right there, what? Like he runs right past a guy, bro. He runs right past a guy. And now y'all gonna say, a lot of y'all gonna say, well, the, the middle is wide open, da, da, da. Yes, don't spam this blitz. You cannot spam this blitz. Like the middle is wide open. Unless you, your user skills have to, first of all, your user skills will have to be really sick for you to run this blitz. Like, you see the middle is wide open. I have to user it by myself. You got the flats, and yeah, you don't really have to worry about underneath. But that middle, you need to have a good-ass user. You can't depend on this blitz all the time. You can't spam this blitz. Don't keep using it over and over again. Make sure you're mixing it up. So, like, if I run the blitz again, usually I like to cross man that linebacker over there. So, then I would sometimes cross man like this if they try something because I'm not always sending the blitz. And I would still like try to send it. Y'all see, I still almost get some heat, but make sure y'all just cross manning and also using other plays and mixing up other plays in his defense. All right. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I told you I would drop this, but listen to what I say. Do not spam this blitz. You can get dotted up by a good player. You can use it every now and then. It's a hard, it's a tough blitz to stop. But if you keep the more you spam it, the more they learn how to beat it throughout the game. So don't spam it. I'm gonna tell y'all this, and a lot of y'all still gonna comment the middle wide open. Duh, 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 this can get dotted up. Do not spam the blitz. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. But until then, it's your boy J Mail Flow, aka Mr. Let's get it. Let's go.